there, good people. Hi, Jason, Green Country Agriculture here, and I'm out here in the backyard on a very windy mid-November day to do a little bit of seed saving. Behind me, we have some whole beans. The beans are done. They're dried. They're dried on the twine there attached to the poles. It's time to bring those in, and uh, we'll save some of those seeds so we can plant some for next year. Of course, here in the foreground, you're going to see some okra. I've got a lot of okra here. Let me show you what I'm interested in saving when it comes to okra. So, you see the base of that plant is very, very thick. What is that? Nearly two inches across. Maybe two and a half, right there. And, of course, we've got a very tall plant. The one next to it is even taller. But by way of, at the time I was setting up these bean poles, these bean towers, I thought it was a really good idea. They have the two-inch PVC pipe slid over a T-post, and you run the twine down around the base to anchor it in place with a couple of tent stakes. Once the tent stakes are pulled up, when the plants are done with their life cycle, all you have to do is pick up the pole, the twine and the vines and the pole and the entire thing comes away. There we go. And you just take the entire thing into your barn or your shed or whatever space it is. And you can even leave this on the pole throughout the winter months. And as you have the time to do it during your downtime, during the winter season, come out, put the bean pods off, break them open, get your beans, drop one, and get your beans out. Just like that. Last bowl has the Anasazi beans that I planted uh, a little bit later than everything else. You know, some of the pods are still green, but the plant is now done. The leaves are dead, so it's time to bring this one in. I'm saving all of these beans for seed for next year because I only managed to get a few plants to germinate. They were very old seeds, and I'm trying to sort of resurrect that particular that particular bean. Yeah, of course, I could always go buy more from a seed company, but I'm kind of jazzed at the idea of growing seed that I saved myself. So we're going to take these, go ahead and bring the, bring the pole in, separate these out, and most of these here, except for the ones that are, that are still obviously green, like that one there, most of these we're going to go ahead and save seed from. Windy. I did something a little bit different with my okra this year. Uh, I didn't harvest a whole lot of it. I harvested some, I pickled some, I ate a lot, but most of it I just allowed the plant to grow the way it was going to grow. I planted 72 okra plants all together, and what I wanted to do was find out which ones grew the tallest plants, which ones grew the plants with the most side branches so they could produce more pods like these guys here. And of course, would you look at the size of this stalk coming up out of the ground? It's like a small tree trunk. You don't see trees growing this much in the course of the year. This okra plant really took off and grew well. Of course, if we were in a tropical climate, this okra plant would still be alive, would still be growing, would still be producing. But uh, alas, we're here in Zone 7A, and this okra plant is done for the year. But look at the size of those pods. Moving on from the okra, we've got our sweet peppers, and I had not great success this year with sweet peppers. Uh, this is Yolo L Wonder. I planted a bunch of them. I got them started in the greenhouse. They were getting big. I was really excited, and then I transplanted them out too early. Frost killed them back, and they slowly managed to recover over the course of the season, but very, very late did they manage to produce fruit. And the size of these fruits is not uncommon for this particular cultivar of 
sweet pepper. They produce smaller fruits, but the plants are shorter, more robust, and they produce a lot of fruit. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I crossed my fingers and I hoped and some of these fruits, this one's still getting there, but some of these fruits have gone ahead and reached maturity on the vine the way we need them to, to make sure that we have good, healthy, viable seeds. So this one, this one is good. We're gonna take this pepper off the plant. All right. All right, I'm back inside and I've brought this ripe Yolo L Wonder sweet pepper in. Finished ripening on the vine, so I'm pretty sure that the seeds are going to be good, but I am going to check just to make sure. So let's go ahead and get it cut open here. Save that for a salad or something, yeah? Alright, so inside we've got the internal part of the pepper. Just going to get one cut down the side. Take off the bottom. Eat a little bit. Not a bad little sweet pepper. Okay. And we'll open it up. And on the inside of this pepper are all of these seeds that you see here. Of course, they're wet right now, so we're just going to air dry them for a little bit. Make sure I got most of them. Okay, we're going to air dry them right there. And of course, that's for dinner. And as to air dry them, we just scrape them off of the, the pulpy part in the inside of the pepper and lay them out on a paper towel and just leave them exposed to the air for a little bit and that will do the trick. There we go. And here in a day or two these seeds will be ready to do a little test plant of and we'll see if we can get them to germinate. Just going to leave them right there on that plate. Hi. sweet pepper seeds that we have let air dry for a day. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten. There. Right, we have ten seeds. And we'll just push them down at a quarter inch into our soil mix. they're covered. There we go. And give them a good soap. There's a little bit of water over here. And the lid is going to make sure that the moisture stays in that area. We don't lose it to evaporation. Today is the 19th. Yeah. Okay, these are brown paper sandwich bags or little lunch bags. You can buy these in bulk. 
They're great for seed saving. Yes. So we're going to just take this paper bag. All right. And on the surface of the bag, we're going to take a Sharpie or pen or pencil or whatever you got. And write out what we're putting in here. This is going to be YOLO Wonder Sweet Pepper. and the year 2020. Just in case you wind up with a whole bunch of these lying around, you want to know what year you save these seeds, that'll tell you. Open up the bag. And if your seeds are nice and dried and ready to be put away, Well, it'd be nice if the back door wasn't open and the wind blowing in here. Sorry. Alright, so, yeah, if the seeds are dry, you can just dump them on in. There we go. And so there's our Yellow Wonder Sweet Pepper Seeds saved in 2020. And I can pull the top of the bag over, just like so. And I've got a basket over here on the shelf that you can't see because it's out of frame. I can put those seeds in and those will be waiting for me next year. Okay, let's move on to some okra. Mary, would you be so kind as to hand me an okra pot or two, please? I'm joined today by my lovely assistant, Mary. Say hello, Mary. Hello. How big do you want these? No, I said say hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, just pick out any two. They're, any, they're all the same genetics. Yep, any two. Any two. All right, so these guys are from the Clemson Spineless Okra that we picked yesterday, brought inside, and I'm going to go ahead and crack them open. Looks like they're already starting to split. Yeah, they'll, they'll do that on their own. Yeah, get them before they split. Get them yeah, in the once, box yeah, once they split out, <laughs> once they split out in the field, they'll, they'll scatter their seeds everywhere, volunteers. and we have volunteers, which is which is great. I don't mind volunteers. Like tomatoes. But if you want to plant something someplace deliberately, you want to make sure you save your seeds. Oh, there, oh, there's a nice split. <laughs> I can see the seeds in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aww, they're so cute. Like a peas in a pod napping. That's a lot of seeds. Yeah, it is. That's a lot. Tons, just tons and tons of seeds out of one single pot. There we go. See how many ones? seeds? See how many seeds you get out of one pot. That's a lot of seeds. Yeah. All right. Now you're gonna ask a question, Mary. What was your question? Are these the ones that I saw in the front yard that I thought was a tree branch? No, 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 no. These ones are the okra hanging nope. off of it. These ones, these ones are for the backyard. These are the Clemson spineless okra in the backyard. The ones in the front yard are, uh, I'm gonna call them. Uh, Hayes, Louisiana Lawn. I don't know what I don't I, I don't know what cultivar they really are. It, it, it's an heirloom that one family has been growing for the past forty generations. So, yeah, I mean forty generations of the plant, not the family. <laughs> but still, it's it's a, it's a very long, very long time that you have any one particular variety in geographical isolation. So it's got unique properties all to itself. So I'm kind of excited to have that one. And it did kind of look like a tree limb. Oh yeah, it has, it, has a, it has a very nice branching habit. It's not maybe not as tall as I would like, but then again, you know, those are those are old seeds, and this is the first year that I've grown them here in this location. So I imagine next year they'll, they'll be a lot stronger and okay. I'll have a better germination rate from them. Like these guys that just wow. Like these guys, which I've been growing for. Jungle. Yeah, I've been growing these for I think three. Generations now? That's, that's these guys? Yeah, this is the third generation of uh, Clemson Spineless that I have been specifically growing and trying to select for the traits that I like. And these ones in particular are you know, tall ochre plants, lots of branches, heavy production. Um, there we go. You kind of get a look at them if, when I was looking for that squash. You said there's a squash out there. I was joking about you can literally like hide in the jungle of okra. <laughs> it is a little Very bit of jungle. Very short tent. All right. Like almost head height. Least head height. So that's yeah. That's plenty enough to grow a good crop of okra for next year. 
And all of the seeds look good to me. You got a box full. I don't think, I don't, yeah, I've got, I've got tons of stuff. <laughs> um, it is a jungle out there. If you need okra, hook, uh, <laughs> if you need okra, get in touch with me, I'll hook you up. Okay. So, this one is... Yummy. Yummy, yummy okra. This is Clemson. Spineless Okra Year 2020. There we go. Comes in Spineless Okra 2020. The bag. You want some more Okra seeds to go in there? Oh, no, not, not for the video. I, I, I am going to put a lot more of this up just off camera. Whoa, and throw your seeds all over the place because who cares? All right, and we just put that okra seed down in there. There we go. Knock some dust off there. All right, put some spineless okra 2020. It's in the bag. That two paws right there, that's enough to give you all the okra you really need for a year. Unless you're a severe okra junkie like I am, and... Um, they don't need a lot more. Okay, let's have a look see here. And reading this, we got uh, sweet pepper, eleven nineteen. Eleven nineteen. Today is the twenty seventh, so eight days. Eight days later, and we have for sweet peppers. Have a look. All right, looking at the sweet peppers, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like maybe an eighth one's starting to germinate there. Yep, I see a little sprout there. So right about a little sprout starting to come up. So. 80% germination rate on the sweet peppers. Well, all right, good people, that is how we save our seeds for next year's planting and test the viability of our seeds with germination tests. That's all I've got for you today. As always, good people, if you found the video informative or entertaining, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel, share this video, bang the notification bell, and good people, I will be catching you next time.